This is a video about using Microsoft Excel 2010 and the VLOOKUP function. Uh, this function is uh, particularly useful for looking up values in a table. Up here by, we'll start out here by uh, putting a blank workbook and uh, we're going to create in here a table which we'll look up the values in. So this is just a uh, table that this would be a separate actual file from the one where we'll be uh, looking these values up. So to start out with uh, I'm just going to go and uh, pick some uh, columns in here and just start putting in some data. In this case it will be some uh, product codes, some uh, descriptions, and uh, also some prices. Okay, now these are just uh, some values that I put in here, and uh, you can probably see right off the bat we have a little problem with formatting here. I'm going to format uh, the first column to be numbers, and make that column a little wider, and make this column with description a bit wider, and I'm going to keep uh, filling in just a little bit more data. Okay, set that to two decimals, and now this gives me some sample. Now uh, I'm going to open up, actually, now you could have this on a separate sheet or in the same sheet as where you're actually trying to look up these parts. Um, just as a demonstration, I'm going to open up a separate workbook. And um, as an example, we might be creating a sales receipt. At a, at a point of sale, and so what we do here is I'm going to uh, just put um, a column here for item code, and description, and then finally price. And so you could add any kind of a, a heading in boys in, in terms of uh, any way that you wanted to, to mark this up. Uh, this is just uh, to show how we would put these items in. Now, the way uh, I'm going to format this a little bit. Put some sections here for the stuff we're trying to put in. Something down at the bottom. And the way we would expect to use this would be that, uh, let's say you, you have a, an item code number. Uh, a great example here would be if you use the UPC code on some items that you are selling. And uh, ideally, the way to put this in here would be with uh, an inexpensive uh, barcode scanner, a USB connection into a laptop, and use that to fill in uh, the item code right here. And so I'm going to put uh, as a sample uh, one uh, item code that I just put in on that other sheet. And um, now right after that we have a problem with format. So I'm going to do uh, what I did another one. And uh, set it to number format and change the number of decimal places to uh, to zero. So there's no decimals on that. Description should be okay. On the price, again, we'll want to put a number. And uh, that should be fine with two decimal places. Now, we're gonna, we'd like to get a description and price from that other table. So what we'll do here is... Uh, Enter the VLOOKUP function. You can see that it fills in for me this VLOOKUP. I know um, the lookup value is the first item that we want to add here, and that's going to be from this item code field. I'll put in a comma. And then it says table array, so we want to know where the table of values is. And to do that, I'm going to view, switch windows to that other book. And here I'm going to select 
these three columns as my uh, table array. So I can add as many items in this array as I want. And I uh, will hit the end of it. I'm going to put a comma in here. Now it's going to ask me for an index number. And uh, what that does is the, the value that it finds, looking with that uh, item code, is in the first column. And it wants to know whether we want the second column or the third column. So here I'm going to put the second column, and then a comma. And now I'd ask the question whether we want an approximate match or uh, an exact match. And uh, we have to have the right price. So we're going to need an exact match here. So we're going to put in false. And close the parentheses. And click this enter mark. And it puts us back on the first sheet. And so this is now referencing uh, actually this other Excel file. And it has just given me the description that I wanted in here. So I can just copy this here. So here I'm going to uh, hit Control V. And I'm going to change this value right here to give me the third column instead of the second. And hit the check and for enter and now it's giving me the price for this item so this will uh you know continue to do this now what i have to do in order to get um these formulas to populate the rest of these let's just I'm gonna drag it down like that and copy it and oh wait a minute What's that N A that I'm seeing right there? That wasn't quite what I'd hoped to see. So what I'm going to do here is uh, add a little something to this formula so that it doesn't give me uh, this error when it finds nothing to look up over here. So I'm going to go back and edit this formula. And change this. I'm going to use a conditional command. If. And for if uh, looks makes a logical test, and then we'll do one thing or another. So I'm going to say that if this cell right here is not equal to empty null, okay, then we're going to do the VLOOKUP and all that. And if it is blank, which is the opposite, then uh, we're just going to put in here a space. And close the parentheses. OK, now it still looks the same on this one, but let's see what it does in these other cells. OK, and now they're blank. So I'm going to do that same thing and delete this one over here. I'm going to take this, hit Control C, come over here, hit Control V, and change again that column to column three. So all these cells with that one, and now they're just behaving the same way. So uh, test this out. I'm going to go down here to the next uh, item code. And you can see this has pulled out another item. So I can go back, switch my window, and I can see I have these items over here. And if I make any changes to this, it will be reflected in that invoice. Okay, so um, to make this actually into some sort of a sales receipt, uh, all I would have to do is maybe put the word total down here. I could go here and um, select uh, auto sum. And you can see how this selects all the everything in that column. And so this is my total. 
and you can do other things, adding sales tax or whatever else you wanted to do. So in terms of selling something here, you could actually go and just uh, set this that you hit the barcode scanner, it just fills in the item code, and then the B lookup will populate the rest of your sales receipt, and uh, automatically the next time you do a bar scan, it'll drop down to the to the next cell. Now, in order to uh, make this workable, uh, I'm going to go and uh, back to that other sheet, and I'm going to save this. And um, I'm going to name it uh, product list. Now, don't use any spaces in this. Use an underscore instead of a space. And now I've saved that. Now, I'm going to go back and here it is, book five. I'm going to take a look. And if you're looking at this formula, you'll see that it took and changed the name out of this file name. And that's kind of important because we're going to be able to use this uh, without um, the sales receipt, without actually having to even open that other file. So now I'm going to save this one. And we'll call it uh, sales receipt. And I'm going to close this file, close this file, open, and open the uh, sales receipt. Now it gives me security warning, automatic update of links has been disabled, and we're going to enable that content, and then make this a trusted document. And so if I go in here now, and uh, you can see, let's pick the items off that uh, spreadsheet without even having to open it. So anytime I want to uh, add more stuff to that list, which I would ideally do using the barcode scanner to scan the item, put that number in, and then put a description and a price, uh, I can do that. So this would be the uh, way of using the VLOOKUP function for further information. Uh, go to drinfrastructure.com